Getting milk out of a cow has sure come a long way since the days of sitting on a stool and pulling teats. Today's cutting-edge dairy farms are fully automated. Sophisticated equipment feeds the cows, cleans up their manure, milks them, and even checks the quality of the milk. Historians aren't sure when humans first began drinking animal milk, but they believe that people in ancient Babylon, Egypt, and India raised dairy cattle as early as 4000 BC. For centuries, the family cow was the main source of milk. But as cities became more populated, keeping your own personal cow became rather impractical. So farmers living outside city limits began to establish dairy businesses. The key to good milk output is a good diet. Every day, a dairy cow chows down up to 45 kilograms of feed, a mix of hay, grass and grains, supplemented with minerals and proteins such as soy. On a hot day, she can drink the equivalent of a bathtub full of water. Cows produce milk only during the lactation period that follows giving birth. Starting at 15 to 17 months of age, they're inseminated yearly for about six years. The newborn calf suckles for a couple of days, then goes to a separate area to be raised. But the mother continues to lactate for another 10 to 12 months to the tune of about 35 liters per day. This is the milk that's collected for human consumption. The barn floor is automatically cleaned around the clock to prevent the cows from walking in their manure, which would spread disease and infection. Animal welfare is at the core of this state-of-the-art dairy farm. A happy and stress-free cow, after all, produces better milk. So these cows aren't confined to stalls. They walk around freely, inside or outside, eating and drinking as they please. They scratch themselves against this motion-triggered brush. It improves their blood circulation and cleans their hides. Each cow wears an identification tag. It emits a low frequency, a different one for each animal. This enables the computerized milking system to collect data on each cow's milking habits and monitor the quality of her milk. No traditional twice-a-day milking here. The cows decide when they feel like being milked. Just like the pressure in our bladders tells us when it's time to go to the bathroom, when the cows find the pressure in their udders uncomfortable, they just mosey on down to the milking stall. The stall is designed not to force the cow into an uncomfortable or motionless position. It's set up in such a way that she's not separated from the herd. Scientific research shows that separation induces stress. As it prepares to clean her udder with disinfectant and water, the robotic milking system reads the ID tag and records that this is cow number 328 coming in for a milking at 4.41 in the afternoon. Next, a laser pinpoints the exact location and position of the four teats. It feeds that information to the computer, which then guides the robot to attach the teat cups one by one. Once the robot detects the presence of milk, extraction begins, each suction cup simulating the suckling action of a nursing calf. A sophisticated machine analyzes the milk. If the quality is not up to par, or if the machine detects signs the cow has an infection, milk with elevated temperature or minute traces of blood, for example, the system automatically rejects the batch and red flags the problem cow. As the udder cleaning brushes get disinfected, the robot tracks the output of each teat separately. 
That way, no teat is under-milked or over-milked, which can lead to health problems. Once the suction cups come off, the robot disinfects each teat. As Bessie goes on her way feeling mighty relieved, the robot disinfects the teat cups for the next cow. The milk that passes inspection collects in a jar, then gets transferred to a giant refrigerated reservoir. They wash out the jar between cows. To keep the milk fresh, they store it at 3 degrees Celsius, about the temperature of your refrigerator. If you have any comments about the show, or if you'd like to suggest topics for future shows, drop us a line at www.howitismade.net.